friends, welcome back to Make Do with Mrs. Murphy. Um, on this episode today, uh, we have Deirdre has been pretty curious about his origin story. Where did he come from? Uh, when was he born? Um, why is he here? So he's been asking questions and so we just wanted to answer those questions today. to go to the Visionary Art Museum today myself. See where you're from, see what all the magic is about. You know, I have been going to the Visionary for years, doing all kinds of cool activities there and stuff, and I finally made it to their second Saturday for sock monkey making in December, and it changed my life. So we'll go check it out and see what's there. where you were made. You were born in Baltimore, hon. <sighs> yeah, so here we go, off on our adventure. Let's go check it out. You guys, I'm so excited! Woohoo! I came to the Sock Monkey second Saturday in December event that Visionary hosts and that's where Deirdre was born. Um, 
I have brought socks and fabric scissors, just as they suggest, and then found a delightful basket full of all kinds of socks, and I got to trade in some socks and found and fell in love with Deirdre's skin color. Um, but I love the metaphor of the egg, um, the, the birth that happened here um, at the Visionary, um, the birth of a whole new line of creativity in my life as an artist. So like being born anew, hatched from an egg, born out of the nest, um, my creativity got a whole new line um, at the Visionary. So I highly recommend um, that you try out their Sock Monkey event um, or come to the museum anytime you can. It's a great place to explore. So if you can imagine making Sock Monkeys with over 300 people, um, it's an amazing event. Um, they have all the supplies you would need, just bring a pair of socks, and I got to trade in socks for Deirdre's um, mismatched socks, so that was fun. And then later in the afternoon, walking around and seeing another sock monkey being made with the socks that I had donated, I felt related to that monkey. So there's a great sense of community with this event. Um, it's just so much fun to spend the day and work on making a new creature um, with a whole bunch of other people that are excited about making new creatures. So um, I really highly recommend um, the Sock Monkey second Saturday um, of December for you to enjoy yourself as well. Thank you for joining us for this episode. I felt that um, it's important to share stories as you navigate your way in the world and so I really appreciate having this channel to be able to share my stories with you and you know the Visionary Art Museum is a source of inspiration for a lot of people and it can be a source for you as well um, as a source for me you know being so inspired by their sock monkey event and then really manifesting that by creating all these sculptures and but also, you know, it has inspired me to teach workshops as an art teacher, um, to have a workshop after school um, at my school for sock monkey making. And um, also then to teach other art teachers um, how they could also lead sock monkey workshops. So, um, you know, there's that source point where you start from and then see how it spreads and how it goes and permeates um, a lot of the world. So I think that, um, you know, the Visionary is local to Baltimore, and so um, if you are nearby and you can make it there, please go see for yourself. There's just so many different inspiration sources there available to you. They have an amazing education department. Um, it's good for field trips. Um, if you're going there as an art teacher, as an English teacher, as social studies, there's just so much to offer. Um, also, just as a family, going there on the weekend with your family is just amazing conversations with your children um, from seeing things there. Um, but also then, you know, if, if it's that the sock monkeys are what's inspiring you as well, um, their event is the second Saturday in December, which I've mentioned repeatedly because it's so amazing. Um, but also maybe you could use these videos if you want to set up a workshop in your own space, in your own time, that I hope that my YouTube videos can support you in that as well um, for inspiration and to seeing different choices to make and stuff. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate all the support. Um, please leave comments. Uh, we're excited to hear what you have to say and have fun making monkeys.